AFTV, um, some game, wasn't it? I mean, 5-5. Five, five. But the really annoying thing is that we didn't get over the line. I mean, play some brilliant football going forward. But again, the throw is at the back. Yeah, 100%. I think there were some incredible goals in there. From our point of view, I think it's been so static and starved of creativity. What we saw in that game was unbelievable to actually like show the character. I'm, I'm shocked that no one's had any pops up Mustafi, but it shows that it's not all about the mistakes. We got behind the actual team and straight away we got back into it. We showed the character, the desire. I really think that the players wanted to prove something to the fans today. And I really felt that certain players wanted to show that they're, they're about to start. Martinelli, he's got to be, if not edging his way into that team, then a starter. Good to see Meza back. Meza. Meza were breathtaking in times like that, man. Like when you see him on on form like that, and you can imagine what he's going to be like with a Pepe, with Abba, with Laka. You know what I'm saying, man? Will 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 come Saturday against Wolves? Will he even be in the squad? Like Emery's got it so twisted, man. The man's just so fragile. It's like four, four weeks ago, it's like he's out of the picture, he's not training hard enough. Then it's all, well, he had a good pre-season, but obviously the attacks have affected him. Then it's his training hard, he's going to be in the team. Next minute, it's like, oh, higher powers are saying he's done. And now he's saying he's in and he might be a captain. It's like, what is going on, man? Is he playing some fucking, uh, I don't know, like, what's it, the magic eight ball with the dice just asking what to do with Meza Ozil. It's like, it's fucking nuts, man. It's like, end of the day, right? You know what? We get cussed because of the way that we've been dealing with this Xhaka thing. I know you're going to come on to it, but Meza wouldn't have started today if the fans hadn't been singing his name. That's, that's, that's the bottom of it. Meza, I don't know why he came off. Hopefully it is because he is going to start on Saturday, but if he does not start on Saturday, then Emery needs ringing out, man, I'm telling you. Where, where, where do you stand on the, um, the, whole, the whole Xhaka thing? Um, you heard that last guy, he's, he's still unhappy because he hasn't heard an apology. Or do you think that the, you know there's been some people suggesting that you know maybe the fans maybe need to give them a bit of an apology? Nah, this is where it gets schooled now, right? There's a thing called recency bias, yeah. And all that's happening is there's a lot of outlets. You know, you got your talk sports, you got your other pundits out there saying that we booed the guy. Your video earlier schooled it, right? Let's don't get this twisted. What happened was, yeah, we we cheered him and sarcastically cheered him. That was it. He goaded us into the reaction. Now let's take it back, right? Let's take it back, right? He's been here for four and a bit years. He's done nothing to earn the right to be the captain at this club in my eyes and in a lot of players' eyes, and sorry, in a lot of fans' eyes. At the Aston Villa game, that first half, everybody walked out at the first half dejected. We were like, we only wanted the change of Xhaka, but it weren't there, it weren't there. We didn't believe he'd just been made captain at that point. It didn't feel like we could get that player off the pitch. He came off the pitch and the ironic cheers came because we were like, fucking hell, he's done it. And that just set a precedent from there. It was like, okay, he's off. It, got, it brought the fans back in, fair play. Emery's brought this on himself. How can the man be made captain? And at the end of the day, he's been sub three times this season. We've played, what, ten, nine, ten games in the league. He's been sub three times. Now, again, people will say, right, oh, well, you can't say he's playing all the time if he's been sub three times. No, this is the recency bias. Up until that point, He's been playing when he's not, he's, for me, he's not a starter. Look at what Torreira did today. Look at Torreira in his proper position. Look at Meza. Xhaka has not done anything to earn a start. So, of course, there's going to be ironic cheers. It happened against Villa, against Sheffield United, it was ironic cheers. And against, against, who were it against now? It were against uh, Palace, obviously against Palace, yeah. He's gone. His head's gone. Now, I'm going to take it back to Burnley last season, man. The guy was begging to be cheered. At the end of the season last year, cheers, bro. At the end of the season last year, yeah. Don't worry about me, son. At the end of the... At the, end of, at the end of it last season, yeah, we were singing for Laka, we were singing it, you know, we, we knew we'd fucked up, but we still had a final at the end of the day, right? Xhaka was coming, stretching over, begging for a chance. I think Liv's clocked it as well, because Liv's called it on that. I was like, right, he was just begging, everyone felt bad, so he had to sing it. So that tells you a bit of his personality. What does he do against Tottenham? He gives away the fucking penalty. What was his reasoning for it? Oh, well, it wasn't me. He's an arrogant fucker. Oh, it wasn't me. Look at the strikers. He's making it all about him. And Arsenal's PR is now making it about him. Oh, the sympathy. Oh, we feel sorry for the guy. Nah, man, 100%. What, what, nah, man, you know that. What, what Claude said is right. Anything that's going personal to his family, we don't support that and we're not about that. But to turn on Arsenal fans and say there's going to be some sort of revolt, it, it's, how pathetic is that? We're going to get held hostage if we allow Xhaka, if we want Xhaka out of the team. If we, like, that, like, what is going on, mate? Answer this, yeah. Which 
team would Granit Xhaka, let alone not cap captain, but let alone get into into that top six or even the top half of that league? Who would? So why are we crumbling over Granit Xhaka? Is Granit fucking Xhaka? <laughs> Is Granit Xhaka, mate? Like, Granit but, but let me just back to the original. If he makes an apology, nah, bro, because it's you, you, not, you're it's not, not, it, the apology is not there. The apology is not there. He doesn't mean it. This is what I'm trying to say. How stubborn he is. This is what I'm saying. He didn't apologize after the Tottenham penalty. He shrugged it off. This to him is not his fault. This is what the PR system of Arsenal are trying to make it about. It's personal. We don't like him. Emery going, oh, people don't like him. I, I, he met up with 100 fans and one fan didn't. Think that. Shut up, Emery. Like, it's not personal. It's the fact that he's not performing on that pitch. That is all we care about. He's not performing on that pitch, so he shouldn't be starting. Emery's put him in the firing line, but he the way that he's provoked that, the way that he swore at those fans, it's the captain. There should be no right that he steps back on that pitch for this club. Get him out in January. Get him done. Give Torreira the captaincy or give, give I don't know, give, give, give Laka the captaincy. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's players in there who work and graft and start for this team. Do you know what I'm saying, man? Sack that dude off. Because I tell you what, if he comes back in, I think this is going to be crazy. But I think he's going to start against against Wolves. And I think he's going to be captain. I swear, bro. I'd be and surprised. You know, I'd be... I, and I think, I think because Emery's too weak, Look at the narrative that's been put out there. It's Paul Xhaka. It's not, all oh, the Arsenal fans aren't seeing any performances. It's Paul Xhaka. And then again, I don't like the term that's been used about he's been made a scapegoat because he's not. He's Arsenal captain. He's got to be leading by example. He's not. He's not performing week in, week out. Why is he starting? He's not a scapegoat. He's playing shit. He shouldn't be the captain. He's sworn at the fans. He should be out. Get him done. Box him off. Enough said. Let's move on and build to fucking get in this top four. Cool.